Hi, I'm Woke Ness. We are Sports Picks. My name is Peter Loshak. Today is Thursday, March 29th. We've got the Final Four, of course, coming up this weekend in college basketball. This Saturday, we're going to talk with Joe Gavassi from JoeGavassiSports.com about his opinions on both Final Four spreads and totals coming up uh, this Saturday. First, we're going to start with Loyola Chicago against Michigan. Uh, Joe Gavassi, Loyola Chicago. Nothing more needs to be said about them, really. Uh, just an impressive, impressive program. They play great defense. They play a very efficient brand of basketball. And it's gotten them into the Final Four. And anyone who's uh, backed them on their spreads was uh, cashing most of the year. They're actually 23-9 and ATS Overall on the year, they've covered six in a row. And, of course, all of their uh, 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 NCAA tournament games, they covered and actually uh, uh, mostly by decent margins as well. So a very impressive team here, but now they're going up against a juggernaut in uh, in Michigan. You know, Michigan has not been as great uh, ATS-wise, but they overall in the year, they were also great. 23-12 and 12 ATS was Michigan. They got a push against Florida State, an ATS loss against Houston, but then they got a huge margin win against uh, Texas A&M. So Michigan is uh, not necessarily the kind of team you want to be betting against either, or at least makes you feel comfortably betting against either. Loyola Chicago is getting a lot of points, and the line's gotten bet down a little bit, opened at about five and a half or six. It's now down to a five or five and a half market wide. What do you like here, Joe Gavassi? Well, before I begin my analysis of this game, although we've had an outstanding march in college basketball and I have selected every game in NCAA play, I must warn you that I faded Loyola Chicago mm. in every mm. and gone zero and four ATS as they have sprung four outright underdog wins all against superior teams, mostly Power 5 conference teams in this NCAA tournament. They do some things outstandingly well. First of all, let us not ignore the fact that they have seven players on their roster who have won state titles in high school. As a result, I don't think these kids will be spooked by the big stage of the Alamo Dome or the Final Four participation. That gives them a nice underlying edge in the contest. They do have four players who are extraordinary on the perimeter as well, and they have outstanding spacing. That was taught to them by their coach, Porter Moser, a Rick Majerus disciple, who has instilled that in this team. And that's what makes the dribble drive work so well. However, tonight, there may be some major issues, and those come on the defensive end of the court, even though they are one of the truly better defensive teams in the nation allowing just 63 points a game. That problem comes with the fact that Mo Wagner, Michigan's interior force, is capable of floating to the perimeter where he is an excellent three-point shooter. Who goes out there to cover him? Certainly not the freshman Crutwig, the interior man for Loyola, who is slowish and inexperienced. And Wagner has a superior height advantage against any other starter on Loyola Chicago. Michigan also has four perimeter players of their own who are outstanding in their own right in Matthews, Simpson, Abdur, Rockman, and Robinson. Again, like other foes that Loyola has faced, these guys are gifted athletes, all with bigger size and experience in the Loyola team. Another major edge, however, beside Wagner on the perimeter and the interior is the fact that John Beeline is on the opposing sideline against the much less experienced Porter Wagner. Beeline's strength has been in neutral court games over the course of his career, where he is the best in the nation and will have a week to prepare. The numbers prove it out. Beeline is an amazing 85 and 50 against the spread, eight and three against the spread this season in neutral court games. Two big advantages for Michigan in this game, the coaching of Beeline with a week to prepare, and Mo Wagner as he floats to the outside against the Loyola defenders. I like Michigan, minus the five points, with a caveat that we must note the Wolverines are the worst foul shooting team remaining at just 66%. Right. We'll see if uh, Loyola, Illinois shit can uh, can continue the magic. Uh, Joe Gavassi from JoeGavassiSports.com is willing to bet no. The line uh, is a split line right now. Five and a half or five. Joe Gavassi likes minus five, minus 110 for Michigan. Joe Gavassi, thanks so much for that analysis and for your honesty. Uh, tell us about your website, JoeGavassiSports.com. It's JoeGavassiSports.com. We're winding down the end of the basketball season, and I want to give you guys from SBR a special thank you 
for tuning into these videos each week. Pick any promotion that I have at jogavazisports.com and take 20% off that price just by mentioning SBR. That's all you have to do. Get 20% off when you go to jogavazisports.com and continue my run with me at jogavazisports.com. Awesome. Thanks so much, Joe. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.